Top CC 2014 video tutorial by Andrew Buckle. In this video, I'm just going to show you how you can create a gear shape. Now, there's numerous gear designs. I'm just going to use a shape. So it's going to be a custom shape in the end. So shape, fill being black, and I'm going to set a number of sides and just going to go over here and set make certain it's a star. So just check that it's a star. Otherwise, just create a polygon, which is not what you want. And just going to quickly add the star design there. Now what I want to do is just going to cut all the way around there. So I'm going to use a circle or ellipse. Now deselect over there so you don't actually add to that. Hold the shift key down so it's not actually added into that part. It creates a new shape, shape layer. And I'm just going to select all of those and just going to go there and there. Right, once I've actually done that, I can now go over to the layer and combine shapes, and I'm going to go for the Unite Shapes at Overlap. So there it cuts that off, so you can actually see all the stars just gone now. Now, next thing to do, if you've already got that selected, make certain that's selected, and Merge Shape Components, so it just gets rid of that. Okay, now, I don't actually want this sharp but there, I want to go create another one. So deselect again and just create another circle. And again, of course, you can vary where you actually position this. You can, so I'm just going to select both of those again just to line. Now, I could actually make it obviously more or less for that. So, what I'm doing, going to select those and I'm going to go now to layer and combine shapes and unite shapes. Right. Again, I can go back there and just select that and merge shapes. So you can just get all becomes one shape, shape layer. Okay. Now, once I've done that, what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to actually go and remove the central part. Of course, you can. You don't have to. If you're actually happy with that as the gear shape, you can just quickly go and save that, save that as a custom shape if it's available. Of course, that option. Just my favourite. If that's not available, just go up there direct selection tool and just go edit and define custom shape. No, I don't want to do that so I'm just going to deselect I'm just going to go to ellipse tool and I'm going to create a center now. Okay nothing selected over there so I'm just going to just create another ellipse circle. Okay hold the shift down so it is actually a circle. Select all those and align. Now once you've done that go to a layer and it's quite a bit of combining shapes in this. Subtract front shape. So now I've got the most of the way now to, again, you could actually stop at this point. It's perfectly decent, maybe great for like a, a frame design, maybe a brush stroke or whatever, where you basically want something that you can actually put something, say, in the center, maybe an image or whatever. Now, obviously it'd be nice to have some supports for that. Now you can obviously create multiple maybe all the way, but I'm just going to create a couple just quick supports for that. And I'm just going to create that one. Hold the Alt down so I duplicate it so it's exactly the same size. And just going to select that again. Just go over there and select that one. And I want to rotate it. So just rotate it. Hold the Shift down so it actually rotates to horizontal. OK. And again, select all of the various shapes there, shape layers. They're all selected now. Just go there and gain the line. So it's just now could have gone obviously for bigger or smaller, maybe even more elaborate designs. So again, just go over to layer and combine shapes, unite shapes. And again, just go over here if you want and just select that and go to merge shape components. So all the components have been merged and now again edit define custom shape. So that can be saved as a custom shape. And again of course you can even create slightly more elaborate designs. Again not having that selected and select maybe a center and again a layer and combine shape, unite shape it's nearly finished. 
What I want to do is go there and again merge shape components. Final bit, just actually obviously something for it to so deselect again and create another. And there, just select all those and align again to the center and layer combine shapes and subtract from shape. So you actually get that central bit. And then again, go back there. Quite a lot of combining and merge shape component. And that's it, you're finished. And to actually obviously just finally save it, once you've done all that, obviously it'd be nice to actually save it as a well, defined custom shape. Or you could of course save that layer to the CC libraries, CC 2014 libraries be quite good then you can actually use it quickly in Illustrator as well. Hope you found this tutorial of interest.